Okay, so what I do also is use some jalapeno juice, which I will be opening right now. So I'll put a little bit and then I'll be using garlic. So I'm going to go into my pantry. My husband rearranged everything in here. Pantry basics, garlic powder. I'll be using garlic powder. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some garlic powder in there. Not too much, just very little. And then I'm gonna be using pepper and salt. Just spicing it up. It's already going to be spiced up with the putting some salt with the peppers. Usually what I like to do as well is fry the jalapenos, the onion, and the tomato. But I'm going to do it a little bit different. I'm doing this with a knife. I'm stirring everything so it can be fully spiced. I got up this morning wanting to make salsa ranchera for my husband. He loves this stuff with his eggs. He loves to make eggs. And uh, he has to have his soft soft scramble or soft over easy and then what I'm going to do is mix with this here this was here in my mother ex-mother-in-law's oh, mother-in-law's house uh, she passed away this is uh, new she never used it or got to use it so that's what I'm gonna do to blend with all the vegetables here, the jalapenos, the tomato, onion, garlic, salt, the jalapeno juice, salt and pepper, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've never used this before. I hope I don't... Pour the tomato sauce in to the blender. Nice and red. Now I'm going to get some water. Now I'm going to get some hot water. You don't have to put hot water, it can be just cold water. But I want to make sure that it has plenty. So I don't have to be putting and putting. So I think that's good enough. So I used half a cup of water and now it's time to blend it. Puree it is what I'm going to do. Um, chunky. He likes it very fine and smooth. Okay, and that's what it looks like when it is done, but I am not done yet. 
now I'm going to turn on my stove. So you see the it boiling in the middle? That's what I want. I've already turned off my stove. So, yeah. Well, this is how you make the salsa. And it came out fresh, so you can use it on your eggs or you can eat chips. With it, like tortilla chips with um, salsa, you can add it into your dinner or supper as well. You can store it after it cools down in the refrigerator. I'm going to store the rest of this salsa in the refrigerator until I run out of this salsa here. My husband loves it. So. I'm going to get a pen and he put all my pens over here so I'm just gonna use this pen here it's all worn and everything but I like to rinse my pens before So now I am going to pour it in. It's like three, well, kind of three fourths of a way in the blender, but I like to make enough. But I want to put some, maybe olive oil or extra virgin olive oil. I usually use just regular oil, like less than oil or crystal. I'm going to go ahead and use the extra virgin olive oil because it won't be so greasy and it's just to fry the salsa to make it hotter spicier you don't have to use all of it just enough and just store the rest you don't have to use olive oil, you can use regular Wesson oil or Crisco oil or whatever oil you like to use. I'm going to let it get, um, I put it on my stove because of the fact that uh, I wanted to get, I wanted for it to be spicier. So I'm adding a little bit more salt in there. And then with a wooden spoon, I like to mix it. And you don't have to use oil or any type of oil, but I like to fry my salsa. And you can use as much onion, peppers, and uh, tomato. I like to use a lot to get a red. To use the tomatoes because it was fresh. And also I like to use tomato sauce. And garlic, pepper, and salt. You can add whatever spice you want to your salsa. And you don't have to make it very smooth and fine if you want the chunky salsa you don't have to put it in the blender you can just put it in the pan and fry it with some oil and or olive oil you put your spices along with it and just let it get you can just simmer it and it will be good and I like to fry my serrano peppers, onion, and tomato with a little bit of oil and then I put my spices which is garlic. You can also put cumin and you can put your salt and pepper to taste and you just wait until it kind of boils. Not really because then you would have salsa everywhere on the stove. 
so if you like this video please give it a like don't forget to subscribe if you are new to my channel it is free to subscribe and ring that notification bell because I'll be making more videos later on this month so thank you for watching bye bye